So just in case you didn't know, hiring managers and recruiters only look at your resume and cover letter for like 30 seconds. In which case, how do we actually stand out in a job market as competitive as data analytics? Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about one simple change that will make you unforgettable to hiring managers. And I promise you, if you do this, it will dramatically up-level your ability to get interviews, replies, and ultimately get that data job. And stick around, because at the end, I wanna show you a before and after example of exactly how to do this so that you can apply it immediately. If you're new here, I'm Christine. I'm a former data hiring manager and a data mentor who helps people take the most direct path to starting a job in data. So what is this one thing? I call it crafting your unique narrative, which is how you tie together your career journey, your experiences, your skills, your aspirations into a compelling and memorable story. Now, why does this actually matter? There's four main reasons. The first is that it helps you stand out. If you are just painting the picture of a generic data analyst, you're not really going to stand a chance. Any market as competitive as data as it is right now, especially if you're transitioning from another industry. The second is that it helps recruiters advocate for you. So recruiters are responsible for pitching you as a candidate to the job board and to the company. The more you can own this story and help them do that translation, the easier it is for them to be on your side. The third is that it actually shows and not tells that you have the skills to be a data analyst. Remember that a lot of the data in this job is actually storytelling, right? Being able to present information in a way that actually resonates with people. If you can't do this with your own career story, it's a bit of a red flag, but if you can do this, it really stands out and shows your ability to communicate. The fourth is that it elevates every element of your job hunt, your LinkedIn profile, your resume, your interview responses. It helps all of them. Of all the things to work on, having a strong narrative is one of the highest leverage things that you can work on. So how do we actually do this? We're gonna start with a few key questions. One, where have you made an impact? Think about past roles or even past group projects from school or internships. What were your main responsibilities and what kind of problems did you solve? What kind of people did you work with? The second is what strengths or personality traits set you apart? Maybe you're really good at breaking down complex topics, finding patterns or automating processes. Where have these strengths actually shown up? And then third is what's unique about your journey? Your background does not have to be the traditional generic data analyst path. Maybe you transitioned from another field. What skills or new perspectives did you gain through that experience? And how does your experience actually give you an edge? Then you wanna align your job search with roles that really highlight and value these kinds of experiences. So instead of trying to mold yourself into some cookie cutter generic data analyst position, you're actually finding the places where you bring something special. So I want to talk to you guys about an example from a student that I was talking to last week. We were workshopping his narrative and the before version of his narrative was something like this. I've worked at a few different startups and the first startup I was at, I was mostly responsible for financial reporting and I used a bunch of different technical tools there, Excel, but mostly proprietary software. And then I actually decided to start my own startup where I've been doing, of course, the full spectrum of business admin, operations, financial reporting, and general data analytics. And now I want to double down on just focus focusing on data. When I talked to the student, I realized that he was significantly downselling the uniqueness of his experience and how well these experiences actually translate to data. I asked him questions like, how large was the startup when you started? How large was the startup by the time that you left? What were the unique things that you were working on there? And what were areas where you made the biggest impact? And why did that experience inspire you to go and start your own startup? And how did that process even happen? After he reflected on these questions, the after version of his narrative is something like this. I was an early stage hire at a fast growing startup that grew to 200 people by the time I was there. And as I was working at that company, I was mostly focused on financial reporting for a $25 million private equity fund in which I used proprietary software to understand the volatility of the fund and use that to help guide strategic decisions across a variety of different departments. I also got insight into a wide spectrum of different business operations and strategic thinking through that role. And so I was ultimately inspired to start my own startup that was actually sparked by my own data analysis, where I used public data to uncover the fact that there was a high income region in the United States that was significantly underserved by their local transportation. And so I started a private limo company. Over the last few years, I've actually used my data analysis skills to help drive strategic decisions at the company. And now I'm just excited to let go of a lot of the business admin and operational work and focus more full time on data analysis. Analytics. So the second one is obviously a lot longer, but how much of a better picture does that paint of the person? It shows his motivation, his initiative,
creative, his creative thinking, his ability to be strategic and detail-oriented at the same time. And which one of those stories do you think is going to stick with a hiring manager? Now, just to be super clear, a narrative is not just like a four sentence paragraph that you memorize and you recite it everywhere you go. Think of it more as a conceptual understanding of your story that you embody and that you then thread like a needle through every element of your job search. So where does your narrative actually live? You can put it in your LinkedIn bio, in your resume bio, and more importantly, you can embody this answer when you start to get to the about you questions in the HR recruiting screen and the hiring manager interview. And don't forget, this will also help you in coffee chats when you're networking with other people in the industry and they wanna know a little bit more about you. This will also help you be much more memorable and help them understand where you might bring value to their own team. You can actually think of it like a music album where every song is different, but each of them contribute to the overall voice and vision of the artist. Same thing here. Every Everywhere you thread your narrative, all of that comes together to show a really aligned picture of who you are. And in the end, instead of trying to fit yourself into some really generic box, you're actually making your experiences work for you. So what is your unique narrative? I would love to know. Drop it in the comments and I will pop in and give you guys some feedback. And if you want more practice with crafting your own narrative, check out my program below. That's it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one.